This is part three in the series of footwork, specifically about your trail foot. If you haven't watched the first two episodes of this, please go back and watch them so you won't be confused. Now, remember what we did in the last episode? We took our pipe and we put it across our chest, took our stance, and we made a turn. We wanted to learn the feeling of screwing that trail foot right down into the ground. That's the feeling we're looking for. Your trail foot screws right down into the ground. Now we're going to learn the move that happens when you get to the top of the backswing. Remember our first move? We're just turning our shoulders and screwing everything down. Our next move is going to be to twist our foot. And that movement goes like this. This is the movement you're going to make with your foot. You're just going to take it and turn it out 90 degrees. Again, take it and turn it out 90 degrees. Now, I know that doesn't look like a golf move, and your foot doesn't move that way. It doesn't actually slide out in the golf swing. But remember, I'm up on my heel a little bit here and taking my spikes out of the ground. Look what happens, though, when I keep my spikes dug in and I make that little foot twist at the top of the turn. Remember our previous drill? I'm going to turn back and then I'm going to make my trail foot twist. That entire turn was driven by that move with my foot. I didn't use my legs. I didn't use my hips. I didn't use my core. I didn't use my shoulders. Didn't use any other part of my body. I used that one little move with my foot, twisting out. And you can see you get a pretty powerful turn just using that little move. In fact, some of you are going to find that you're going to be hitting the ball farther just using this move than you were using all the other muscles of your body, but not using very good footwork. I mean, there's a lot of power that comes up from your feet if you just learn how to harness it. So again, the move looks like this when you actually keep your spikes dug in. You just turn back and come forward. There's a lot of turning motion, a lot of forward motion when you use that. So here's the drill I want you to do, and I want you to do it a hundred times. Just sit up with your foot. Be a little light on your ball of your feet, unless your weight is on your heel. And I want you to just turn. Okay, just turn that toe out 90 degrees. Turn. Now, this is a drill you can do in tennis shoes if you want, if you don't want to mess up the ground. Uh, because this, but when you get to actually on the course, you're going to want spikes because you're not going to want your foot to turn. But for this exercise, you just take your foot trail foot and the toe, and turn your toe out 90 degrees. Turn. I want you to do this a hundred times. One, two, three, four, five. Remember, we keep track of it. Keep your clicker. One, two, three, four, five. Do it in groups of five. Don't try to do all 100 through at the same time. It's been shown when you break these long ex repetitive exercises up into smaller groups, you learn more and you'll retain more. Now I know this doesn't look like much of a drill and a lot of y'all are thinking, oh, I can skip that. Don't. In fact, of all the drills in this series, this is the most important. Because if you don't learn this movement, none of the others will work. And you need to drive it in to the point that it's subconscious, where you can do it without even thinking about it. Again, it's just turn. Turn. If you don't drive it in so it's subconscious, then when you try to do it, you'll just fall back into your old habits. So do it at least 100 times. If you need to do it more, do it more. This is a quick drill. 
You can get through it quickly, but it's the most important drill in all of these. Just take your foot, turn, turn. Do it a hundred times, and this is the method you're going to learn for when you get torqued all the way at the top. You've got all that torque in your body. You're fully twisted, fully coiled, and then you just make that little move with your back foot and everything else happens.